April 27th. So let's get into it. Angels and ancestors of the light, most high God and spirit, please use me to channel nothing but truth in this reading, truth and honesty. Today I want to channel some energy for the collective. I want to channel some energy for the collective today. What's going on today? What do they need to know? What are they unaware of? What do you need them to know? So yeah, y'all. I went to the garden today real quick, like after I dropped Wookie off to school, but I only stayed for a little bit because it was really windy and I, it was only one sunny, um, sunny warm spot to sit because it was so windy. Then I'm on my cycle and then I'm hungry. So I was like, yeah, let me just go home. I was going to do the reading um, in the garden, but good thing I didn't even bring the cards because the cards would have been flying everywhere. Like it was so windy over there. So I said, when I get in, I'm gonna make me, I got me some tea, some lemon, honey, some lemon, honey, chamomile tea. And I got me two oranges and a bowl of oatmeal. So after I'm done with y'all, we going, to, I'm going to eat <laughs> and relax. Ooh, we got, wow, we got five of pentacles. Okay. That's the first card out. We need one more card and we going to get into it. I'm going to try to do the oracle messages at the end because, yo, yesterday, y'all, I was practicing with my tarot cards and I literally was channeling energy with just my tarot cards. I didn't even have to use my oracle deck. So I was like, I'm about to, I'm about to show my babies <laughs> how quick I'm getting the hang of this. Wow. Okay. We have five of wands. Anything else? Or you want to leave it? You want to leave it like that, spirit? Anything else? Or you want to leave the message like that? Anything else? So, um, I got two candles burning. I went to buy two new candles. I got a yellow candle. And I have this candle. It's white, but it just has like this wrap on it or whatever. And y'all see my little, my little fake plant we got some incense incense burning coming through with that good energy clearing out the the space the energy the vibe so y'all know wow age of wands hmm okay three cards said i wasn't gonna do all those cards today but look <laughs> um i also take notes because it helps me Cause I'm not, you know, I got the hang of it, but I don't got the hang of it like that, like that. You know what I mean, y'all? So first we got five of pentacles. So five, ooh, y'all see me? I look horrible today. Well, not horrible. I just, <laughs> I didn't shower. I brushed my teeth and washed my face, but I didn't take my good old bath when I come out and look renewed. Yeah, I didn't do that yet. I'm gonna do that <laughs> when I'm done with y'all. So we got five of pentacles. We got five of wands. Wow. And we got page of wands. Yeah, this is some bullshit. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. This is some bullshit. Whatever's going on in the energy today, uh, collective, this is some bullshit. All right, five of pentacles. Somebody in the five of pentacles and they, they need help. They need help, they need advice, they need love, they need fucking attention. They need everything, look at them. Look at them, collective. People are in the five of pentacles because of bad karma that they've done. Look at this. This man is like, hmm, have you been putting good karma into the world? Okay, I'll bless you. Have you been putting good karma into the world? Hmm. Let me ask my handy dandy Libra scale. <laughs> oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. So five of pentacles. Let's get down to it, y'all. Okay. Five of pentacles. So it says, and it's in the upright. Uh, it says two men, mendicants in a snowstorm passed a light casement it foretells material trouble above all whether in the form illustrated that is dis destitution or otherwise for some cardomantis it is a card of love and lovers wife husband friend 
mistress, also concordance, affinities. These alternatives cannot be harmonized. Hmm. To me, it looks like people are out in the call, okay? And they need help. So it looks like they want to go to somebody who they feel can help them. Because if you can look at these, look at these, um, look at these rags that these people are wearing. These people are poor, okay? They're probably homeless, okay? They've lost everything. So now they're out in the street begging. And this man, look at this, look at the, 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 the material of cloth that this man is wearing. You know, clearly this man has some type of money, okay? So they're like, let's go ask him because we need some help. So... Next, we have Five of Wands. So let's get into that. I hope you guys' day uh, is going well, though. I hope you guys' day is going really, really well. So, material trouble. Above all, yeah. Somebody out in the call. Uh, it looks like a husband and a wife. Yeah, some people are out in the cold. Wait, I'm reading the wrong... Y'all, I'm reading the wrong card. Oh my God, this is Six of Pentacles. What the... <laughs> okay, scratch that, scratch that. <sighs> Six of Pentacles. One in the... One in the guise of a merchant weighs money in a pair of scales and distributes it to the needy and distressed. Presence, gifts, gratification. Another account says, attention, vigilance, now is the accepted time. Present prosperity. Yeah, so everything that I was saying, um, everything still applies to what I'm saying. Basically, look, it's, I think that this is either the most high God or this is somebody of some high stature. They have high power right now. Look at them. They got six pentacles, you know, all to their, all to their lonesome all to themselves so i guess you know god is telling this person look you got six pentacles these people are out in the cold um listen you got your you got your labor skills so you have to use your discernment use your intuition and see does these people do these people actually deserve your help because although people may need help some people do, do not deserve help you know some people, I, I'm not going to say it like that because that's pretty harsh, right? But maybe they don't accept help from you because of the way that they treated you. You see what I'm saying? So let's keep going. Now we got five of wands. Looks like there's some fighting. There's some fighting. Look, guys. There's some fighting. I don't even need my book. I'm getting better, guys. Look. These people are out in the cold. They're homeless, poor, distraught, distressed, all of that. Okay, they have no, no, they, they can't, they, listen, they can't even see a way. Okay, so no way, no how. Okay, so they want to come to this person. They know that this person has six pentacles. Whoever you are out there, you have six pentacles all to yourself. Look how you dress. Like, you look like you take care of yourself. You know, you got a little money. You got six pentacles. Shit. You know, that's more than one pentacle, more than two, more than three, more than four, more and more than five. Okay, you got six pentacles. These people here need your help. Now, why are these people fighting? These people feel like, maybe these people feel like you owe them something because you do have these six pentacles, but you don't owe nobody nothing. Like, God doesn't say live a life, live a life um, that you have to owe people shit. God doesn't say that. God says live your life the best way you know how, okay? Okay, have integrity, have peace, have patience, have kindness, you know? Yeah, be generous, you know? But do these people deserve it? What? How, how have these people treated others, okay? Because that's how God, I feel like this is like God looking down on people. Like God is looking on, down on people because they don't have shit. But when they did have shit, how did they treat it? When they did have the same six pentacles that, that this person has, what did they do with it? Did they invest their money? Did they, uh, uh, you know, did they save their money? 
Did they do the right things with their money? What did they do? Were they trying to live above their means? Were they trying to, um, you know, impress people and take care of people who don't even deserve it? Okay. So I think these people are, two, I think two of these people over here are these two people. Okay. And there is something going on over here. Now, whoever this resonates with, just apply the message where it fits. Okay, y'all. Every message that I post is not going to, um, it's not going to resonate with you, you know, a thousand percent. You have to take what resonates out of these messages and keep it pushing. Like, it's like, take, take what you, take what you need and, and get about the video. Don't take everything because all of this energy is not yours. You know, only the things you resonate with will be yours. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think this is God or this is somebody of some type of stature. They clearly have the scales. Okay, so they they are looking at people and they are like, do you deserve this or do you not? You know, so this person deserves it. I don't I think I think time is out for this person. This person must did some really harsh things, you know, in their life and their past and stuff. So now they're reaping um bad karma you know because look god is not playing with this person this person can get this person can't so now oh i don't know if two of these people are in here or just this one because they're mad that they didn't receive any blessings i don't know all i know is there's a there's a fight that's gonna break out because of this some people feel like it's not fair that they're not getting blessed and you know others are but listen this man is a man of power of status of wealth okay woman woman or man whoever this is all you can all you can see this as this is god because <laughs> this would god do with us god be looking down on us like uh-uh like you ain't you ain't been doing good what you been doing but you 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 want a new car you want this boop, boop, boop. you want everything that you want what have you been doing what have you given me but this person probably did sacrifice this probably was, this probably, this person, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my words right. This person over here probably, they probably used to smoke cigarettes. You see what I'm saying? Heavy chain smoking cigarettes. And nothing against cigarette smokers, but you know, y'all know it's not healthy for y'all, but still, you know, y'all, y'all do what y'all want. Y'all grown, right? <laughs> I'm not your mama. So, and I ain't God. So this person probably used to have a heavy cigarette um, problem, you know, chain smoking, three packs a day. But they knew that they were spending all their money on cigarettes, okay? So they pray to God, please, God, help me break this cycle. Help me break this addiction, please, God. I, I, I don't want all my, I can't even pay my bills because I'm always worrying about a cigarette, okay? So God bless this person and help this person beat that addiction. So when that person said, okay, God, I haven't smoked a cigarette in one year, five, whatever the length of time was, this person stopped smoking on cigarettes. They went back to God and said, God, please, can you help me now? I've given up. I've made a sacrifice for you. Now, can you bless me? Can you send down my blessings? God said, yes, because you've given me the things that I needed you to sacrifice, okay, for me to bless you. But this person... They didn't sacrifice anything. They still was living the same old way, even though they knew they were struggling, down and out, broke, dusty, all of that. And they knew they had to change their life because when some, things are not going on, things are not going right in you guys' life, my babies, you have to think, why? What's going on in my life? What decisions am I making? What environments am I around? Who am I hanging around? You know, what, 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 what type of good or bad deeds am I uh, putting out into the world? This person clearly wasn't putting out nothing good, you know, nothing of quality, you know, nothing that God was impressed with because God said she gets, you don't. Now there's a fight. So yeah, there's some drama going on because some people feel like, you know, other people's blessings is not, not fair. And, you know, some, you know, and they see people getting blessed. How's this person getting blessed? Boop, boop, boop. But at the end of the day, somebody's blessings is somebody's blessings don't look at somebody's blessings and be jealous don't look at somebody's blessings and become envious it's not yours god blesses who the fuck he wants 
okay? And he don't care who it is. Tom, Dick, Harry, a poor person, a rich person, a black person, a white person, a man, a woman, a transgender, a lesbian. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. When you don't do good in the world, God won't fucking bless you. The most he'll bless you with is the breath that you have every day to wake up. And if you don't do something with that and change your fucking life, you will never get blessed. You will continue. He will leave. God will leave you out in the cold. He will. And have you out here fighting with people looking like some fucking telenovelas. Okay? This is not novellas. Y'all out here in the street fighting, thumping, and rumping. For what? All you have to do is do good deeds like she did. She did good deeds. She didn't. Ne she never gave a fuck if she if she couldn't. You know, as much as she wanted to smoke them cigarettes, she she stopped. She literally controlled her urges. She literally was looking at them. Boy, when I tell you, she she used to. <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> something just popped in my head, y'all. Hold on, let me get a drink. Oh, I got my tea. I still didn't drink it yet. Uh oh, almost made a mess. Um, yo, when I tell you, she used to go to the, uh, take her grandbabies to the store to get them their little snacks. You know, kids like, mommy, I want chips. I want candy, whatever, whatever. And she used to take her grandbabies to the store to get them their little snacks. <laughs> and she used to, you know how you see behind the counter or wherever the cigarettes are. You know how you see the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I look terrible right now, so don't mind how I look. Just get the message. But, <laughs> oh God, I'm crying. Oh, she used to see the cigarettes behind the counter and she used to be like, in her head, damn, let me, should I buy them pack of cigarettes? Hey, excuse me, how much of them, you, you know how you like, you just stole it. So she used to be in the store like, how much of them cigarettes now the man uh, uh the man the cashier looking at her because he knows she used to come to that store every every day okay all the time to get her cigarettes but he ain't seen that in a while now she pulled over her grandberries talking about how much is the cigarette <laughs> girl you know <laughs> she wanted those cigarettes bad you hear me but she knew she wanted to be blessed by the most high god you feel me so she didn't buy them cigarettes she did not smoke another cigarette once she made that promise to God. Because God said, baby, them cigarettes are killing you. Okay? This is not how you're supposed to go out. This ain't the end of your life yet. But you're addicted, baby. I need you to come up off those addictions. Okay? And she did, y'all. She was clean for one whole year. And God was working on her. Telling her, stay strong. Every time she got that urge to buy them cigarettes or somebody wanted to hand her a cigarette, tell her, you think you good? You think you too good now because you don't smoke cigarettes? Who you think you are? She's like, no, I just, I, I got to be here for my grandbabies. So if I don't stop smoking now, I won't make it to, a, to the next five years. I won't. My baby's going to be in high school and I will be in a fucking casket. Okay? So she stopped the, the, the. She she did what she needed to do, okay? God blessed her. This person quite didn't do much. God did not bless this person. Now, now, okay, this person, this person is probably the person out here starting all this fighting and stuff like that because they think that life is not fair. But no, baby, it's not that life is not fair. It's that you get what you put in. If you put in love, you'll get love. If you put in some hard work and effort, some ambitions, okay, some determinations, you know, if, if you work on your, your inner self, your childhood traumas, your insecurities, the problems in your life, problems with family, start unraveling your life, okay? God wants us all to have a spiritual awakening right now because what's going on in the world right now is something crucial. Something serious is going on in the world right now and God is not playing with nobody. So if you don't get your act together, you'll be like this person out in the cold and God looking at this person. Here you go, because I seen you quitting them, um, <clears throat> quitting them addictions and, you know, taking care of your grandbabies, even though you, man, you wanted them cigarettes so bad. <laughs> you always called on me and said, God, <laughs> I, I tell me, you know, help me not buy these cigarettes. Help me not smoke these cigarettes. God, give me the strength. 
and he he was there for you so that was an equal give and take this person didn't give shit so they get shit okay now they out here starting a ruckus and all this shit uh-uh no so so we got this card then we had this card so let me just call them out i know y'all like when i call them out right so we have first six of pentacles and then we have five of wands and then final card that popped out was page of wands hmm let's see what this page of wands wants this page of wands look like they first of all look at this oh no they look like they oh no they looking too too fucking flashy for me something looks suspicious about this man he looked too he got a pimp hat on and a pimp can okay and a pimp shawl on and he got them them them, them elf shoes on something is up with this man this man is a pimp all right let's keep on going let's go to page of wine let's see what, what i'm telling you this man is a pimp though i didn't even read it yet but i can i can feel it look at him pull up to the scene with my ceiling missing like this man look like he want to pull up and stunt who is this who y'all dealing with out there y'all dealing with a page of wands Yes, y'all, this tarot be cracking me up. <clears throat> Just know we're going to be having a lot of laughs over here. Where's page of wands? Page of wands, page of wands, page of wands. Page of wands, page of... Where am I? I'm on pentacles. I need to go to wands. Hello, 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 hello. Page of wands. In a scene similar to the former, to the former, a young man stands in the act of proclamation. He is unknown but faithful, and his tidings are strange. It's in the upright, so this is a dark young man, faithful, a lover, an envoy, a postman. Beside a man, he will bear favorable testimony concerning him. He is a dangerous rival if followed by the Page of Cups. He has the chief qualities of his suit. I don't know, y'all. Y'all gonna have to use y'all discernment. Whoever y'all dealing with, it says this man is a dark young man. Whoever it is, whoever it is, it's this person. It has to be this person. They mad because they are left out in the cold. So now they want to start some type of fight or something. Now, I don't know if this and this, these people are the same people. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Y'all think this person is the same person? I don't think so. They got different hair. <clears throat> yeah, they got different. Uh, oh, but maybe not. Nah, this could be this person. This look like this person. It's just that right here, this person is poor. And right here, this person look like a pimp. Hmm. Hold on, y'all, give me a second, okay? This, these messages, <laughs> they take a little time to come through. Give me a second, y'all. Dark young man, faithful, a lover, an envoy, a postman. Beside a man, he will bear favorable, favorable testimony concerning him. He is a dangerous rival if followed by the Page of Cups. Y'all, y'all gonna have to use y'all discernment, okay? But y'all should know that already. You always use your discernment and use your your intuition because that's why God gave it to you, okay? To see beyond the illusions, to see beyond people's bullshit because people love to fucking play games and shit. Life, life yeah, life is a motherfucking game, but baby, y'all motherfuckers is ruthless, okay? Y'all motherfuckers is ruthless. Okay, just, yo, my babies, discern everybody. Discern everybody, okay? Use your intuition in every situation, okay? Y'all gonna have to uh, use your discernment on this. Somebody mad, though. Somebody mad. Somebody mad or this could be the same person. But in the book, it says a dark young man. So y'all could be, this could be somebody dark skin, y'all. Are y'all dealing with somebody that's dark skin? 
and they mad because they out in the cold so now they want to start a fight and they want to come through like they some type of pimp <clears throat> maybe just to get your pentacles <clears throat> i don't know i don't know use your discernment and use your intuition maybe this person has changed i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe this person has fixed their life and now they, they i don't know <clears throat> they fixed their life nah they could they could have but they they still could have those those um what am I trying to say? Those negative traits about themselves. You know what I mean? Look at this man. This man is all draped in, in the in the best fabric. Okay, he got a pimp hat with a feather sticking out. This man has on a Gucci coat, a shawl. He got his pimp cane. He got these elf boots. Okay, maybe he got them Yeezy Yeezy, um, those Yeezy um boots with them with them Yeezy them big puffy Yeezy boots. He got them Yeezy boots on like. This man trying to impress somebody. Use your intuition, y'all. Use your intuition. I don't care if something seems all good and sweet in the beginning. People change. People have hidden motives and ulterior motives and shit. You really have to be careful. Okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> Whoever mad about being out in the cold, they, st they start in a lot of fights. Now they want to pull up and be your pimp. <laughs> That's how I see it. They want to pull up and be your pimp. Uh, Y'all, use your discernment. Use your... And not, I'm not talking like a pimp literally, but I'm, I'm talking about like... It could be that though. Some of y'all could be having a pimp approaching y'all, a manager. Somebody of some type of status. Or maybe they think they got status. Or maybe they want to have a certain status. I don't know. But this person is trying to make a statement. Y'all, use your discernment. Use your intuition. I'm out. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all some angel messages. <clears throat> Let me give y'all some angel messages. But don't mind my laundry in the background if y'all can see that. I want to give y'all this. Oh, this reading is too long. I'm trying to do quick readings. I want to know how to do a quick reading. Should I just be pulled? Like, should I just pull one card? you do a quick reading like 10 minutes or something you know what I mean I guess as I learn more and get quicker with my craft then I'll learn how to channel quick can you give me three messages for the collective for April what's today y'all April 27th April yeah April 27th what does the collective need to know what are they unaware of at this time please use me angels and angels and ancestors of the light most high god and spirit to channel nothing but truth and honesty through these cards give me some angel messages for the collective please what are they unaware of at this time what do you need them to know give me three cards oh there we go visualize success they want y'all to visualize the success that you're dreaming of whatever you're dreaming of <clears throat> any success it doesn't have to be money you guys maybe some of you want a happy family life maybe you guys um you know it is business it is money whatever it is that dream home whatever success is your health whatever your body you know what i mean your mind your mental health whatever visualize the success that you want <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Can I get two more cards for the collective? What do they need to know? What are they unaware of at this time? <laughs> I'm thinking about the title. <laughs> what should the title be, y'all? I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking something regarding a pimp. <laughs> That's cracking me up. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Ooh, we got integrity. Ooh, it says, oh, I didn't even read the bottom of visual. Visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. Integrity. 
Second card out is integrity, guys. They want y'all to have integrity. Practice the skills of integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. Y'all gotta align yourselves, y'all. What you want, you have to act like you already got it, okay? How you want people to treat you, you need to treat them, okay? Be a good person, love on your kids, shit, love on yourself, okay? Because ain't nobody gonna love on you the way you love on you and, and respect you and see you, you know what I mean, type shit. Like, you gotta be locked in with yourself, period, before anybody uh, can come in and do all this other shit. This message, I think this message is for me too. Look what popped out though. <laughs> I am a part of the collective vegetarian or vegan <clears throat> fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency yeah so whether this message is for you me whoever around the world needs to receive this tarot reading today above all your angels and ancestors of the light want you to visualize the success you want with integrity because they know that's truly who you are. You are a person of integrity, <laughs> okay? And to help you with your overall health, maybe some of you guys wanna practice um, practice being a vegan or a vegetarian, pescatarian, whatever it may be for you all, um, apply it where it resonates. But these are all your messages today from your angels and ancestors of the light. I hope you all enjoyed your reading. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye y'all. Peace and love.